Artistic Grade 6 learners. It's another great day of learning. My name is Teacher Genesis, your Grade 6 Arts teacher. Join me in exploring a world full of colors, style, and creativity. Let's create art together right here on Aral TV. To start your new learnings, our today's fun field session will help you learn how to create digital paintings similar with the masters in terms of styles, themes, and different designs. Get your module, pen, paper, and gadget ready. All set? Let's begin! Answer the following questions that you will see on your TV screen. You have 5 seconds to choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper. Read with me, here is number 1. A software that allows you to create digital paintings. The correct answer is letter D, G-I-M-P. Number two, a set of instructions that tells a computer what to do or how to perform a task. The correct answer is letter C, software. Number three, GIMP is an acronym for The correct answer is letter B, GNU Image Manipulation Program. Number four, the greatest impressionist who paints Starry Night. The correct answer is letter D, Vincent van Gogh. Number 5. An element of the painting tool that allows you to select a brush shape and also the thickness in pixels you want to paint on your image with. The correct answer is letter A, brush tool. How many correct answers did you get? If you got five, very good. If you got three or four, you're good. Two and below, stay focused and do better in our next activities. This time, let us recall what you have learned from your previous lesson. Look at each section in MS Paint's interface and name it. Choose your answers from the box.
Good job, artistic learners! I know you did well in this activity. Art processes like drawing, painting, printmaking, and sculpting can be done through digital devices such as cell phone, tablet, and computers installed with software. Can you distinguish a digital art from traditional art? Look at the picture that will be flashed on your screen. Based on your own preference, answer the questions that will follow with yes or no. Say your answer after hearing this sound. First question. Can you see the difference between traditional art and digital art? Second question. Is digital art more vibrant than traditional art? Third question. Do you find your work done not with real brushes but with the computer remarkable? Fourth question, do you like traditional art better than digital art? Fifth question, if you are to create an art, would you choose digital art over traditional art? Artistic learners, do you know what is digital painting? Digital painting is the process of painting on a tablet and creating artwork digitally on a computer. Just like a traditional painting, it is done through computer painting software that uses brushes. Digital painting is an emerging art form in which traditional painting techniques such as watercolor, oils, acrylic paints, etc. are applied using digital tools by means of a computer, graphic tablet and stylus, and software. Traditional painting is painting with a physical medium as opposed to a more modern style like digital. Digital painting differs from other forms of digital art, particularly computer-generated art, in that it does not involve in the computer rendering from a model. The artist uses painting techniques to create the digital painting directly on the computer. This time, we will paint using digital, similar with the masters, like Van Gogh and David Villegas. But before that, let us first take a look at some of their artworks. Starry Night and Four Sunflowers Gone to Seed are two of the artworks of Vincent Van Gogh. Gnosis Environment and Wind by Toast are the examples of artworks of David Villegas also known as Div Calvis. Unlike Van Gogh, Villegas, a Filipino digital concept artist, uses the computer as a means to express himself artistically. In digital painting, we need to use computer software. What is computer software? Computer software, often called as software, is a set of instructions and its associated documentations that tells a computer what to do or how to perform a task. Software includes all different software programs on a computer such as applications and the operating system. What is GIMP? 
GIMP is an acronym for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is used by photographers to enhance photos, by illustrators to transform images into unique creations, and by graphic designers to produce icons, graphical design elements, and art mock-ups. What is a brush tool? These applies color to your work. Similar to the way a traditional paintbrush would apply paint on a canvas or paper. The edges of the lines created when using the brush tend to be slightly softer than that of the other tools, mimicking a real brush. The brush tool is an element of the painting tool that allows you to select a brush shape like square, circle, oval, and so on. And also, the thickness in pixels you want to paint on your image with. As you move your cursor over the image, it leaves a stroke of color. How to create digital painting in GIMP If this is your first time painting on GIMP, work from sketch you scanned in. If you don't have a scanner, here's what you're going to do. You can take a picture of your sketch with a digital camera and upload the image to your computer. When creating a sketch for a digital painting, do not shade. You'll do that in GIMP itself. Also, make sure to close all your shapes. If there are breaks in your line drawing, it will be more difficult to select certain areas of your sketch in GIMP. Start by scanning your sketch. As soon as your sketch is finished and sitting in the scanning bed, go to File in the menu bar above the toolbox. Click on Acquire and then choose your scanner. Set the scanning resolution to at least 300 dpi so you can print your digital artwork later on. You can always lower the resolution of an image without any problems, but you can't increase resolution and maintain the same quality. When GIMP imports the image, it may not be right side up. So go to Image in the Images menu bar. Click on Transform and then rotate it in the direction necessary. Now that your image is in place, it's a good time to save your document. Use the default GIMP file format of .xcf for the time being. After you save, crop the drawing to create pleasing composition for your digital painting. Even though you drew carefully and dusted the eraser crumbs off the drawing before scanning it, there's almost always something that needs to be cleaned up a little. Zoom in and use the eraser tool Shift-E to clean up anything you feel necessary. After your line drawing is good, save your file again using Ctrl-S. To duplicate a layer in GIMP, make sure you have the Layers tab selected in the Layers, Channels, Paths, Undo dialog box. Click and drag the name of the layer to the Duplicate Layer button at the bottom of that box. Then, release the mouse button. A new layer will appear. Both layers are identical, meaning you can work on one and use the other for reference, in case you smudge the original drawing. The last thing to do before painting is to change the mode of the top layer so you can see through it to the layer below. 
select your top layer, then click on the mode drop-down menu and choose Multiply. You can lock the layer to preserve it or click on the eyeball symbol to remove it from sight. Here are shortcuts of some important GIMP painting tools. The Fuzzy Selection Tool Paint Bucket or Fill Tool Gradient Tool Paint Brush and Dodge or Burn Tool Fuzzy Selection Tool selects an enclosed area. That's why you drew closed shapes for your sketch. Paint Bucket or Fill Tool fills an area with solid color. Gradient Tool fills an area while fading from one color to another color. Paintbrush paints a line based on whatever size, edge, color, or pattern you choose. Dodge or Burn tool lightens or darkens colors already on screen. It's great for creating highlights and shadows in a painting. Let's choose a color and start making use of these tools. Click on the foreground color in your toolbox and a beautiful dialog box will appear with every you imaginable. You can also click on the small white arrow next to the mouse in the image below to switch to your background color. Pick a color to paint with. Then choose the Fuzzy Selection tool and click on any area of your drawing. You will see marching ants appear around the edges of the area, indicating that it has been selected. Switch to the paint bucket and click inside those ants to color it. Grab the dodge or burn tool from your toolbox or press Shift-D and click to create lighter colors anywhere you've already painted or drawn. Hit the control key to switch over to the burn tool which make things darker instead of lighter. To fill an area with a gradient, select an area of your image with the Fossey Selection tool, then choose the gradient tool. Click and drag within the selected area and you'll see a gradient appear. If the way the colors are transitioning doesn't look right, just click and drag again. Keep in mind that there are other types of gradients in the options area of your toolbox. You can choose from radial gradients, linear gradients, and several other choices. You can choose from radial gradients, linear gradients, and several other choices. In the gradient tab section of the layers box, you can create and save gradients for later use or simply choose from a list of pre-made gradients. Don't forget to use your paintbrush tool to add details and texture. You can also choose the opacity level to suit your needs. This can help you achieve pastel and watercolor effects with the right brush shape and texture. Continue to select areas and fill them as you see fit until entire image is filled. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. You always undo your last steps by pressing Ctrl Z. Now that's something you can do on canvas. Now, let's make a simple abstract design using Shape Tool and Color Palette on MS Paint. Give it an interesting title using Paint Tool. Here are some examples of abstract designs using shapes and colors.
Today, technology allows you the means to experiment beyond the alphabet. Try the following activities with your computer. The title of our activity is, Did you get my feelings? The materials are, digital camera, laptop or computers. First, look for a photograph or any finished portrait painting. Second, copy and paste your source photo nine times. Use the computer and software to manipulate and make each image different from each other. For example, change the original colors of each one. Make the face of your first image yellow, then second image pink, and the third image in black and white. Stretch your imagination further by sharpening the contrast, dodge or burn tool between colors, placing it on another background, move tool, or zooming in, zoom tool on a part to put a third eye or color the image's lip alone. Finally, arrange them in a series. Another activity is creating your own masterpiece. You are going to create a scenery of your choice but not limited to sunrise or sunset over the hills, a village, a school community, a farmland or a forest with living animals. You will also think of an interesting title to the scenery of your choice and write it using paint tool. Then, write your name at the bottom of the page to the right hand side. Have a print copy of your output to be submitted to your teacher upon the retrieval of your modules at the collecting station assigned by your school. Let us check how far you have learned. Answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. A software that allows you to create digital paintings. Number 2. A set of instructions that tells a computer what to do or how to perform a task. G-I-M-P is an acronym for
Number four, the greatest impressionist who paints Starry Night. Number five, an element of the painting tool that allows you to select a brush shape and also the thickness and pixels you want to paint on your image with. The following sentences tell the advantages of using computer in painting. Complete each sentence by supplying the missing word. Number 6. Errors can easily be... Number seven, work is done in an no mess environment. Number eight, colors do not and brushes are never Number 9. Stages and versions of the artwork can be filed and easily. <music> 10. Work can be transferred or on almost any. correct answers did you get? If you got 10 or 9, excellent! 5 to 8, you are good! 4 and below, cheer up! You can study again this lesson. Today, we learn to create digital paintings similar with the masters. We also learned that digital paintings is a process of creating artworks using computer and software. GIMP is a powerful and versatile software that can be used to create beautiful digital paintings. Congratulations, artistic learners! You have just reached the end of our session. You can now review this video through our YouTube channel. Search Aral TV Dep Adleta. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to view the latest uploads. Again, this is your teacher Genesis telling you that a bright future starts from what you're creating today. Goodbye!